We want to determine if the improper integral converges or diverges, and then if it converges, determine the value. This is an improper integral because the lower limit of integration is negative infinity. So what we'll do is replace this with a, and then take the limit as a approaches negative infinity of this definite integral. So we'll have the limit as a approaches negative infinity of the integral from a to negative three, and I'm gonna go ahead and write this as two x to the negative two dx, because we know we have to find the antiderivative. So now we'll have the limit as a approaches negative infinity, and now we need to determine the antiderivative of two x to the negative two, that's gonna be two times x to the negative two plus one, that's gonna be negative one divided by negative one, and the limits of integration are from a to negative three. Let's write this as negative two over x. So we'll have negative two over negative three minus negative two over a. Now we need to evaluate this limit. And notice as a approaches negative infinity, the second fraction here has a constant in the numerator, and the denominator is decreasing without bound. So this fraction here is approaching zero, and this isn't affected by a, so this limit is equal to two-thirds, which means this improper integral converges, and it's equal to two-thirds. Now if we take a look at the graph of the function two divided by x squared, it looks like this. And since the function is non-negative, this improper integral represents the area under the curve on the interval from negative infinity to negative three. So here's x equals negative three. And if we approach negative infinity, that means we're moving to the left forever. The area is equal to two-thirds of a square unit. So you'll have to admit this is kind of an amazing concept. We'll take a look at one more example of determining area using an improper integral in the next video.